Okay, peace, Black Atypical. Welcome to another video from yours truly, a Black Atypical representative. And this video today would be a lecture that I have created titled, We Are the Ancestors by Black Atypical Production, my production unit within my Black Atypical organization. So, like I said, peace, welcome. Another Black Atypical video from yours truly, a Black Atypical representative. And you know, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna hit the lights. Now, boom. What do we got here, family? We got, we are the ancestors. Black Atypical production. Excuse that. Okay, boom. We are the ancestors, part one. We are the ancestors. Hairstyles in ancient Africa. Women with waves. Oh my goodness, black atypical. You guys have to excuse me. Okay. Right. Oh. Hairstyles in ancient Africa, women with waves in 1909, Nigeria, West Africa. And this is an ancient, this is an ancient uh, statue of so-called Pharaoh Menkari with waves, apparently, from 2530 BC in Kemet, North Africa. So Egypt, the Egypt area, as we all know today, Egyptians were a black civilization. Uh, black people, we had already had our own golden era, golden age on this planet. So know yourself, know your ancestors. These are your ancestors. These are divine beings. Um, you see this guy, this, this black woman who has waves on their head. A, a black man get waves. It's a spiral of the galaxy. He gets a galaxy on his head. Because we reflect uh, the outer world because we are nature. We are the cosmic divinity, the cosmic divine. So we've been do we basically we're doing the same thing we've been doing for as long as we've been here with a different title and labeling on it. But boom, she has waves. Boom, he has waves. Coincidence? I think not. On to the next. So... We are the ancestors, y'all. So don't ever get confused when people say, oh, believe in your ancestors, praise the ancestors. You you are the ancestor. Believe in yourself. And then that inner ancestor will come out, you know? So, um, boom. We are the ancestors. So-called black people, African people today, contain ancient genetic codes within their DNA sequences, which, which are passed down through their genetic I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, um, it's a little. The pixels aren't really there. I've been at this uh, PowerPoint in store. Just haven't created uh, created the video. But sequences are passed down through their genetic. It's a good thing I have it put up on this tablet. One moment, fam. Just edit the video. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, boom. So-called black people are, or African people today, contain ancient genetic codes within their DNA sequences, which are passed down through their genetics. Such primordial DNA fascinates biologists and anthropologists who new discoveries today of ghost DNA. Ghost is to them not being able to source the DNA on Earth. So by ghost meaning they're not able to find, they're basically not supposed to be there. You could say ghost DNA like they can't find the source. It's just metaphysical. 
I guess, to the meaning, meta meaning beyond length with height calculation. So we have ghost DNA within uh, the black women's genes. And if you are a black person, you have a black mother. So you have technically ghost DNA within your um, gene sequences. And if you live the way according to the ancestors, the blueprint the ancestors laid out for us, you could unlock these DNA to use your body more. I say you could breathe better, see better, hear better, taste better, feel better. Um, and you know, optimal health. Our ancestors already had it done. As you can see, this queen, if you think she didn't, her genes weren't unlocking, and if you think her genes aren't passed down to her lineage, if they made it through this thousand, thousand years war we are going through with the foreign entities, you would know they bury themselves in gold because they know they're divine, not in a materialistic way where I need, need, need. Gold is a part of, is a mineral, is a material, is a, is a, is, is carb, is a form of carbon. So they revered it, they understand it, and it's a, and gold has ampli, amplific, it's an amplifying uh, material. It amplifies your spiritual vibration, your spiritual aura. So a lot of our ancestors like the gold. And, it's, and as we see today, they, they like gold, they like to the shine. There's nothing wrong with shining because you are a star. So, we basically we have ancient DNA. Uh, uh, the scientists was called ghost DNA because they don't know how it got here, or um, you know the real actual purpose of it. But you know there's no such thing as a blanco scientist. Shout out to Heraclitus. So um, African ghost DNA. Let me pull this up on my tablet because I'm definitely not going to be able to read these pixels. But ghost DNA. Let me read this article title. Ghost DNA in West Africans' Complicated Story of Human Origins. This was posted February 12, 2020 by the... Oh my gosh. The quality is just so bad. by the Heard on Morning Edition. Okay, this is just an article, you know, where they come to come together with their scientific findings and, you know, conclusions. So let's see what they have to say, then we can just connect the dots of ourselves. Cause you know, no such thing as a Bronco scientist. So let me, uh, let's show you what they have to say about our so-called ghost DNA, ancient DNA that are in the melanated beings, the African gods and goddesses of today. West African, where they say, but you know, they're not going to tell you the truth. They're just going to have the truth covered by a lie. But, um, boom. The unusual, the unusual DNA found in West Africa isn't associated with either Neanderthals. Everybody who is not black is a Neanderthal. Um, 97%, what's it called? Their DNA isn't, they have foreign DNA, um, animal DNA. So that's what a Neanderthal is, um, is basically not uh, the, what's it called? It, uh, it's, it's a mess family, but you know, uh, we, gotta, we gotta tear it down, we gotta break it apart. You know, we're doing this for the kids, we're doing this for the righteous movement of the upliftment of the melanated people, the black people, the African people, the gods and goddesses of today, kings and queens of today. Like I was saying, the unusual DNA found in West Africa isn't associated with either Neanderthals or Denisovans, which is the um, Arab, uh, the Dravidians, um, um, the Dravidians' uh, ancestors, you could say a Neanderthal type of, type of uh, human, Denisovans. Then Kyraman and his study co-author Aaron Derversla think it comes from a yet-to-be-discovered group. Yet-to-be-discovered now. Listen to what they say. Listen to how they word these things. We don't have a clear identity for this archaic group, Sen Kyraman says. That's why we use the term ghost. It doesn't seem to be particularly close related to the groups from which we have which we have genome sequences from so this is a Caucasian saying these DNA is foreign from them 
So it's not from the same genome uh, archaic group. It's, this is a whole totally extraterrestrial sequence, DNA. So let's carry on. The scientists think that interbreeding happened about 50,000 years ago, right? Not interbreeding, you didn't used to uh, always interbreed with foreign species on this planet, humanoid species on this planet. But now that we have, you see where we are today. Interbreeding happened about 50,000 years ago, roughly the same time that Neanderthals were blank, you know? He says that likely evidence of other ghost populations in modern humans in other parts of the world. I think we can get the genome sequences from different parts of the world at different points in time. There is always the possibility that we might discover these yet unidentifiable ghost populations, Sam Karaman says. It's also possible that the ghost DNA found in this study comes from multiple groups, Browning added. Within Africa, we don't know how many archaic groups might have been involved. The study doesn't tell us that, she says. It tells us that there was integration, but it could have been from more than one archaic population in theory. So basically, to summarize, they don't know what's in your African body, your African DNA. They don't. And they're the one creating the false narrative of you being the black inferior and them being the white superior. This is the whole notion. This destroys the whole notion of black or white of white supremacy. And yet white people have yet to tell them, tell us where have they come from. So basically the evolution theory would say that black white people that black people come from monkeys. So after we were monkeys we went to cold climates and we evolved into these white races that we see today. We lost our melanin, we lost our hair texture, our, our melanin in our eyes, they became completely foreign, but we don't understand where we got the canine DNA. We're not understanding where we got monkey DNA, Reese's DNA, Eunice DNA, the Eunice Nubno monkeys that, that they claim were used to genetically modify um, the group we would know as today as mongoloid beings, people of the mongoloid family tree. The, um, white people more of they were Greece's monkey and chimpanzee and we can see they have animalistic um, traits just as their um, as their genetic cousins you could say. So um, you know this is science don't be mad at me this isn't racism, this is science that the white man put out, we're just debunking it, and we in, intuitively already knew. But, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot. We didn't come from monkeys, and we, damn, and you guys didn't evolve from us. We come from this planet. We probably, in our genes, come from of, out of this world, literally. So, time doesn't exist for black people. We live on a, on a cycle-based um, lifestyle. It's the Caucasian who has that linear lifestyle, who's trying to date things, date things, but things have, what, nothing's new under the sun. But, um, we'll carry on. Some might ask the question, why haven't they been exposed? Why haven't we been exposed to this knowledge of ancient ancestry? Opposed to the common slavery portrayal of our very much black ancestors, how um, have our true history been hidden from us? Question mark. If so, that being the case, another question would follow. That would be why. So why have our history been hidden from us? Why aren't we told that we are divine, ancient, extraterrestrial beings? Why are black people, you know, written all over this world, all over these ancient planet, all over the planet? But if you look, it's in, we're written, we're riddled all over the planet. But all over the planet, we are at the bottom of the bottom. So, why? This is a Jew. This is a meme I put up. 
humanity is waking up, or at least the aliens, you know, because a Jew, what do you want to call it, a Jew, Zionist, um, an Orthodox Jew, Unorthodox Jew, still a white man, still uh, the white man's doctrine, you know, white people, black people, we have more of a spiritual belief within nature, we don't really revere a savior, we really revere ourselves, our inner selves, and our minds and spirit that was given to us by the most high creator but you got the master scholar umar johnson here just upset we just um because we're not gonna learn you're not gonna get this in school you're not but um you know let's go ahead let's go ahead so oh man gotta edit that out The answer is the same reason we've been left ignorant of our true origins would be the same reasons why they like to take the noses off Egyptian structures to control the false narrative of white supremacy. He who controls the information controls the inner form, the inner formation. In formation, inner form. Do you get understand? So, going to these public schools, the white man's public schooling, which is actually a uh, indoctrination concentration camp to uh, harvest your mind, because the first one to the mind wins. That's why they hit you when you were young with all these boom GMO food, um, artificial blue light. Cut. The list goes on. But, you know, he who controls the information controls the inner form. So control your information. So you can begin to control your inner formation. Okay? Okay. We are the ancestors, part four. So don't ever... I don't want to hear... Oh, I don't want to hear... Black people are dumb. Black people are actually the most smartest people on the planet. Scientifically, scientifically, we are the most smartest people on this planet. You guys didn't create this. They did. They did. Uh, Caucasian didn't create paper and pencil. My African ancient Egyptian brothers and sisters did. What do you see here? You see three little boys in modern day school and, you know, getting their education. And I don't blame them for, uh, you know, circulating around the, the Caucasians um, curriculum, the, uh, the Jewish curriculum that we are all being um, adopted th that, to know. But it reflects, it's, we're, we're still our ancestors because it reflects the past. This, this happened um, thousands of years ago. And they're doing the same thing, which is learning, learning, growing, growing their mind. Not, not they're not. You don't see where, where's the where's the where's the uh, alcohol, where's the guns, where's the PlayStation, where's all these distractions from themselves? No, there is a reason we highlighted this our ancestors on the wall, so the future children can know where they come from. You come from masters. Univ Africa had the first universities, the first schools. We civilized this world, and now everybody can't use knowledge. Everybody can't utilize it. Anyways, you're a genius. Tap into your genius self. Get to create whether you draw, rap, write. Just tap into your mind is what it's saying. You know? You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta know to grow. So, move on forward. You are the ancestor, man. Don't, don't pray to yourself. Uh, look, research yourself. Boom. Pyramids. We are the ancestors, part five. So, right, as you can see here, you got the Mayan pyramid. You got the pyramids in Central America, Mayan. The Aztec pyramids. Pyramids in China, the Chinese pyramids right here. This is the China pyramids, and this is the Egyptian pyramid. So, we've 
built megalith, 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 megalithic structures upon this whole planet. We've been the forefathers, the forebearers of this whole planet this whole time. But we've been usurped. Now, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Let's see how ancient this get. Some of these structures, uh, scientists can date. Some of them they can't date. They just don't have the technology to see back that far. And on top of that, there's been deteriorations within the material that the sun is getting hotter. So it's hard. It's getting hot, harder for scientists and anthropologists to date these uh, arch 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 architectural structures. But um, this allegedly is a black... Well, you can tell it's a black woman, but this is an ancient woman allegedly found on the moon. Um, one and is dated to be 1.3 billion years old African woman. And that's not far-fetched because African people have a trillion year history on this planet. Beyond, beyond the calculations, we're not linear, we're circular. So going in a spiral. So 1.318 one is the Fibonacci sequence. All that has to do with who you are. My hair is coily. My, 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 down to my smallest molecular structure, science would say, is going in circle or constantly vibrating in a spiral. So this is some amazing information. But this is, yes, this is the black woman, the mother of earth, the, uh, the, the goddess, the, the god of man, the god of man. Everybody has a mother. You would not be seeing this video right now if you do not have a mother. The, the in back in ancient um in ancient times we revered the woman. We didn't beat the black woman. We don't call the black woman no bitch, no um no hoe. She wasn't no bitch. She wasn't a hoe back then. But you know what I mean. We revered the women for the the creators of man, the creators of this world, who who hold that portal. This unk represents eternal life. Without a woman, there's no such thing as eternal life. This is the womb. This is the phallus. This is, pa this is the womb of the woman, the phallus of the man, interconnecting to create man and women, both positive, and negative electron protons, electrons, energy. So this is the key. This is the key. We use this as a very, very, very signifying tool of who we are, the physical embodiment of who we are. I don't know what it means for y'all. This is what the divine unk means for me. This ancient, ancient symbol of my people before the white Caucasian colonizers because we have been colonized. That's the truth. Boom. Beautiful. Ancient, billion years old, frozen, and still beautiful. Ain't no weave on her hair. Ain't no makeup on her face. You see how that melanin makes it through? We have we are divine people. We are these ancestors. So wake up every day and say, hey, I'm here. I will always be here. But um moving on. <laughs> yeah, black atypical. We come we come for some smoke today, black atypical. We here for some smoke. So let's get it on. We are the ancestors part six. Like I was saying back with the unk. Look at the black man. How is that how is it, how is that how is that not me? You know? How is that how 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 is that not me? We were rocking unks four thousand years ago and we're rocking them four thousand years later. Facts. Facts. Eternal life, like back to <sighs> unk. Eternal life, the cycle of life. This is an ancient medallion of a black woman. How do I know she's black? Well, just look at who has those that nice curve like that, that afro, nice texture, circular, spherical as afro. A, a melanated woman, a melanated god. So she, the the physical embodiment of the known universe, is giving birth to her baby, her son, her 
son, the son of God, the real God, the black woman is the real God. We are all technically spiritually God, but physically her, the most valuable woman on this planet. Um, so without her, there is no life, but this is all divine. This is divinity. This is, this is truth right here. This is freedom right here. This is how you fight back this imperialism, this colonization we've been going through, this silent war, which we refuse to be silent. We, we're silent no more. <laughs> so we're going to continue to wear Unks um, 4,000 years later, again, another 4,000 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're divine people, man. This is the son of God, him right here. He would uh, our ancestors revere um, these these uh, ancient primordial energies. We these, they weren't taught it. And she wasn't no damn lesbian. He wasn't no damn homosexual. She wasn't no damn hooker, no trick off the street. He wasn't no game baker or no um ex or, or or in somebody jail. You know, we were divine people, gods and goddesses, master master astrologers, master builders. Alchemist, cooking, builders. You see what we build. This is this is what we build with these, with this. So you know, this is just a true black and typical. So you know, I had I had to, I got to get this information out there to the people, man. So moving forward, this, this is just beautiful right here, ancient, beautiful, divine as you are, as you should know yourself to be. So. Being rocking hooks. We are the ancestors, and the ancestors are us. They through they live through us in our family DNA. A better understanding of yourself means a better understanding of the ancestors. Facts, facts, facts. Even though people, even though people like to crack jokes about it for it supposedly being ghetto it's, it's um, supposedly being ghetto pouring liquor out for the dead homies is actually an ancient li 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 libation ritual excuse me y'all libation ritual a drink offering to God or dead ancestors allowed um I'm just gonna edit it. It's fine, man. Just the more you talk, the more editing I have to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, um, rich libation ritual, a drink offering to God or dead ancestors, loved ones. Don't let anyone trick you into thinking you're ghetto or doing this only mean for this. Doing this only means you're closer to the practices of your roots. Shout out to Feather Scott for passing on some of her knowledge, by the way. So, as you can see in the depiction over here, you see the, you know, the modern day nigga, Naga, a.k.a. King, Black Divine or Drumline, pouring some out for the homies. In the other picture, you see the modern day African who is deep into his roots, pouring a bit of alcohol, water, whatever it may be. But these are offerings to the um, to the uh, dead, to the loved ones on the spiritual side. Because you know, these elements have different forms on the spiritual level as well. So, um, yeah, so you are the ancestors, the ancestors is you. Don't let nobody stop, you know. We've been braiding our hairs for thousands of years. We've been educating ourselves for thousands of years, and we will continue to be educating ourselves for thousands of thousands of years more. Infinite time don't exist to us. We are multi-dimensional beings. We don't oblige by the uh, um, the time frame or the this so-called calendar, the Gregorian calendar, these Roman calendars. Okay, we're going against our own. We're going with our own vibe. We're learning about our ancestors. We're building. We're growing. We're not fucking with nobody, 
and we don't want nobody fucking with us. So we're going to continue to grow, continue to build, continue to love, you know, show peace, positivity, spread truth amongst the world, you know. Um, this has been another video from yours truly, a, a black atypical representative. And, you know, thanks for watching. Peace. So subscribe to the Black Atypical uh, channel. Subscribe to Black Atypical Productions channel. Warriors Rumble, my boxing organization, will be coming out with new videos soon. Widescreen. So, um, so yeah, Black Atypical on Instagram, Black Atypical Productions on Instagram, Black Atypical on Twitter, Black Atypical on Facebook. Follow this. Get in tune. Start your own videos. I want to see what you have to say. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe. Do just support so with that being said peace